Hi dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could go over what I got from Julep for my introduction box. It was the Summer Brights introduction box and um, you can check out what introduction boxes or uh, welcoming gift promotions they're getting started at julep.com. I'll link below. Um, so here's what it looked like. Um, I have opened it. I put everything back so that you could see how it came. Um, it, the sticker just tells you a little bit about the, um, the Julep Maven program. And then you got five items, three, three nail polishes and two, um, three nail polishes and, um, two hair and care items. So let's go through the nail polishes first. First up, let's go with Leah. She is a, um, from the It Girl collection. Um, if you don't know about Julep, you take a quiz and there's like modern beauty, which is mostly like makeup and other things from Julep. There's It Girl, which is three trendy nail polishes. There's Bombshell, which is sexy polishes and colors and for more like bold, sexy looks. And then there's um, American Beauty. I think that's the one that's still left. American Beauty, and it's more like classic colors. Maybe it's classic with a twist. I don't know, there's one that's classic that you can get. But this one is from the It Girl collection, and it's a shimmery, a barely... Like, it's very cream looking on, but it does have a very subtle blue-green shimmer to it. So, there's that. Um, the next color is Betty, and um, it's a cream uh, also. It's from the Bombshell collection, and it's a beautiful, like, bright purple. I am um, planning to paint my toes with this later today. Um, I think the color is perfect. It'll be cute to peek out under sandals. Um, I think it would look really good with like a bright, um, with like a bright yellow or a, um, or a red would look really pretty with like for your nails if you don't want to match. And I can hardly ever match. I have too much nail polish to match. Our final nail polish is this cute little, came in this cute little box for whatever reason, and it is B. And it is also from the Bombshell Collection. And it's this gorgeous shade of pastel pale yellow. I am super excited to try it out. I love pastel shades. Um, I love pastel yellow and especially, I think I may have purchased every pastel yellow I could get my fingers on starting with Hard Candy back in the late 90s. Does anyone remember that? When like they came out with that first set of like pastel colors and it was like sunshine was like the only one I wanted and I wore that yellow pastel ring until the yellow pastel jelly ring until it literally just like disintegrated around my finger one day um anyway I love yellow nail polishes but um they have a tendency to be streaky even in darker formats they have a tendency to be streaky so I um so uh I'm excited to try this one out. Um, a little bit about the Julep. They're four free, so that means they... I can't remember what the four are. Um, they're four free, and they're super pigmented. I know that it's formaldehyde. I'll put a link it down below what all the um, what the four bad ingredients are. But So you got two other products in this month's box, and the first one I want to talk about is the Rockstar Hand Cream. It's an anti-aging hand cream, so you know I was all over it. Um, it has shea butter, glycerin, coconut oil, and vitamin E. And um, it has no parabens and no sulfate, which is awesome. Um, I, I had picked a tube of this up shortly after I had gotten the glycolic scrub from them. And um, I love it. I wish... They would bottle the smell of this as perfume. It's gorgeous. It's floral. Um, let's see. You can see. It's floral. And it, um, for as, like, hydrating and long-lasting as it is, you would think that it would be, like, super thick. But it's, it's thick, but it's not, um, 
I guess it's just not greasy, right? Like, um, that was just like a tiny little bit. And that tiny little bit did almost both of my hands. Wish I could, like, I was better at describing scents so I could describe the scent to you, but it smells gorgeous. Um, so there's that. The second one was the Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum. Um, it says it has peptides to supercharge medial acids that builds keratin for your nails and collagen for your cuticles. Um, cuticle serum is the secret weapon to try to transform dry and damaged cuticles almost overnight. Get visibly stronger and smoother ridges, small, stronger and smoother nails with fewer ridges and less splitting in two to three weeks. Apply the, to the cuticle area twice a day for two weeks, then once a week for maintenance. The serum is so powerful, you only need one half turn per hand. It can be used on bare, bare, bare nails or polished nails. Allow the serum to dry completely before applying polish. So I've been using this because I had also picked this up at Sephora a while back um, for a couple months now. And um, it really does work on the brittleness. My two major problems are, with my nails are I have super brittle nails I have, and I have super ridgy nails. So I have to use a smoothing top coat or a, um, a smoothing top coat all the time. Since I started using this six months ago, I've been able to go to a sticky top coat and not have a problem. My nails look smooth with polish on and if and they don't look t so bad that I'm embarrassed of them on the day each week that I don't um, do it. I still do it. Um, I do it once a week. Once a week. I do it. I apply it to my cuticles every day because it's such a great cuticle oil and it keeps my nails from being, it keeps my cuticles from being dry and getting hangnails, which is another problem I have. Um, for as oily as my face is, my cuticles, you would think, would be, like, soft and supple, but for some reason, it just did not translate into that for me. Um, so, <laughs> I, um, I use this once when I get up in the morning and once right before I go to bed. Um, sometimes if I'm knitting for a long time and I have, um, a cuticle, like, I have the nail, or the yarn is carried in such a way across my hand that I, like, rub it across like a spot near my cuticle, I'll hit it with that spot like while I'm knitting so that it like doesn't get like crazy dried up. I use this at night, at night and in the morning and when my cuticle get really dry from knitting. Um, once a week I wear no nail polish on my fingernails um, and it's usually Sunday. I um, will uh, take the polish off the night before put this on all over the nail, wake up in the morning, put it on all over the nail in the morning, and put it on the nail at night, and that's it. I, um, and it really has helped. If you have dry nails, I couldn't get my nails to grow above my finger line ever, and they're kind of short now because I'm doing a lot of, like, speed knitting lately, so I keep them a little shorter when I'm doing that, but, um, I couldn't get them to grow above, like, where they come up off your fingers and they're a good like eighth of an inch now up over it and um ever and because they would just crack there and split and they would split below the nail line and um it was just it was a bad scene but this has really 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 helped so that's it I think oh the rockstar hand cream that's right for knitting I would recommend this to knitters if you want something really quick to put in your bag for knit night I um I love how quick it absorbs and how, um, yeah, I love how quick it absorbs and it lasts through multiple hours of knitting. I have a couple other lotions that I like a lot, but I feel like I have to stop maybe once every like 45 or 45 minutes to an hour to reapply it. Um, if I want to just get stuff done, this is what I, this is what I would use. So that this is it I think um yeah that's all I've got for you this time it's this was the summer brights box and um uh be sure to check out my blog post on my blog 12oncebhouse.com where I'll have detailed pictures of each product and um 
you can see the actual unboxing when I first got it. I took pictures for it. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you like nail polish. Um, I um, will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.